Hi guys, it's Teresa here of Larkin Design. And so welcome to the hybrid portion of completing my layout for week nine in my 2017 Project Life album. So yesterday I shared with you my digital process of creating this album using Photoshop and templates and digital journaling cards from Paisley Press. And today I have the layouts printed out and I'm going to embellish them on top and add a little bit of light journaling. And so I think that what's going to happen is next week I'm going to blend all of it together. So next week's video will be one video that contains the digital portion and the embellishing portion. For me, I think that the digital portion of creating these layouts is pretty similar week after week. Just want to give a chance to highlight the products I'm using. And if there is anything in particular that I'm doing that week or a particular technique, I can talk about that, but not take up a whole, a whole day of video editing and downloading and all that for you. And for me, it's still really about the embellishing. Um, that, is, <laughs> that is really my love. This part right here is, is why I get up in the morning. And <laughs> so I want to I wanna combine these two Monday's videos and Tuesday's videos into one so that one, it's not so much time for you to try and watch. Um, but still include the important parts of how I'm creating these layouts. And of course, the archives will still be there. The playlist for my tutorials will still be available on my YouTube. So you can go back and you can see where I've talked about how I edit my photos, how I work with templates. Um, if you need the if you need the backup information for how I'm doing what I'm doing and always 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 if you have any questions at all or if there's anything specific that you need me to cover and I can cover that then I would be happy to do that just leave me a comment down below or private message me if you don't want it to be public that's okay um, just let me know what it is I love hearing what you guys ch are challenged with and what it is that stops you from creating the layouts that you want to create every week. I love hearing that and I love being able to be a part of the solution for that for you. Um, and I love sharing this process. Um, I love hearing how other people do their creating and do their, do their project life. It's just something that has been so important to me and to our family over the last five years particularly and I don't see it stopping anytime soon <clears throat> so let me go over just a few of the specifics for embellishing this layout you guys I'm so proud to say that I have I have toned down the amount of products that I'm using on these layouts and I'm so happy about that. This is something that I mentioned a year ago, <laughs> probably a year and a half ago, that I really wanted to focus on simplifying my process, not using quite as much product simply because there, there were layouts in last year's album and there were layouts in my 2015 album that were just way too much product and the photos got lost and if anything needs to be the emphasis it's the photos and the stories and and I'm still working on the stories that's the next part right and I love the thing that I love about sharing here is that you guys are my accountability partners and so I'm able to declare you know a year and a half ago I declared <laughs> that I wanted to simplify my process and this year I get to declare that I want to focus more on more journaling more storytelling including more words on these layouts but what I did this week was I only used the digital elements from the Paisley Press 
Rainy Days collection. It's available at the Lily Pad. It's part of the April Memory Pockets Monthly. It's her add-on. It's the Paisley Press add-on for April. And so I printed out what I thought looked fun and interesting to me. I wanted to focus on this this rainy element, right? Um, a lot of word art and journaling cards that pertain to the rain. And so I wanted to focus on that in my embellishing. And then I also used a stamp set from Gossamer Blue. It's from last fall, um, probably November, possibly October. I'm not sure. Um, and then I also just a few little wood pieces here and there. Um, I had those clouds and and they just were perfect here. It's, well, it's one cloud and a couple of raindrops. Technically, they're flower petals, but turned upside down, they look like raindrops, right? And so I wanted to include that. I also had a couple of little chipboard pieces from the Hazelwood collection as well. But very, very few embellishments, very few supplies on this and it's a very flat layout and I am so excited about that when I put this layout in my 2017 album all my layouts this year are relatively flat and they're relatively thin and so therefore my album is looking really good um, I will share that with you I'll do a walk through in the, in the next few weeks and let you see how these layouts are looking in the album itself and that makes me happy to know that I'm, I'm simplifying my process. I'm not relying so much on product choices. I think that sometimes we get so wrapped up in product because we're insecure about our photos or we're insecure about the story we're telling. Um, but there's probably a lot of reasons, right, why we get hung up on product and why we use so much of it. One, re another reason we use so much of it is because we have so much. I have so much product. And on one hand, I'm torn about, oh shoot, does that mean I'm not using my products? But I am using my products and just using them on more layouts. Uh, that Hazelwood collection, I've probably used that on 10 layouts by now. And that is fantastic rather than use it on one layout and then be done with it and be bored with it to use it on eight nine or ten layouts over and over again for me is stretching my product further and is actually using more product in a very um actually in a very wise kind of way so let me talk to you a little bit about my date card here i didn't add any of the numbers digitally I simply stamped them after the layout was printed and so I'm using this one little bird stamp set from Studio Calico it is one of my favorites I got it last year um, and everything was dated 2016 and then she did she released a brand new one for 2017 and she also released the add-on for 2017 so you could buy just the pieces that said the year and so I did that and that makes me so happy I hope she does it again for 2018 um, because I really love these numbers and I love the choices that, that are here um, it really is a perfect kind of project life pocket pages stamp set um, so I have the week number across the top there's a circle element that was part of the Paisley Press icons from this collection. And then the dates themselves highlighted with a gold star in the center. I'm also going to write just a little tiny bit about Natalie wearing this sweatshirt. So my undergraduate degree is from Meredith College in Raleigh, North Carolina. It's a small all-women's college and um or i should say private it's not so small anymore but um this is my sweatshirt that i wore my senior year and so she wanted to wear that to her school spirit week and um 
Yeah, I just love it. I, I wrote it on there. My journaling says Future Angel because the Meredith College um, my mascot, the word was leaving me, the Meredith College mascot is, is the Meredith Angels. So it was fun to include that. And then I also, I, I mentioned yesterday that I had repeated, there are, I had repeated a photo, this photo in particular, it's not exactly the same shot, but it's close enough that you can't really tell that it's different from the photo in the lower right hand corner. And then I covered it with this tag. And um, one of the reasons was because, duh, I needed more journaling space. And, and two, because I don't really need that photo duplicated, but it makes kind of a nice border there. And so that can be fun to do. That That's a fun technique to do if you want to fill in a, a, an extra card or something. Um, and, and for heaven's sakes, don't be afraid to duplicate photos on your layouts, right? Um, or to duplicate photos from the same moment of time. The photos of Alan and I are also from the same moments in time. We were just posed differently. I love that. I love that items in a series. Um, your photo templates can come in really handy then when you have three photos in a row or something like that and you want to include them. This is my little bowl. This is a, um, a little trick that I learned from working with all the products from the Lilypad and Celine Studio. Um, whenever there are labels included in the digital kits, I print out a bunch of them and I keep them in this bowl on my desk. So you're going to see me pull from that bowl frequently here and there. And you'll just know that, yeah, that's all my labels. Um, so just a handy dandy quick tip there for labels. That way you always have one when you need it. And I think that this layout is pretty much completed. So I'm going to peace out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you will like and comment and subscribe. And I'll see you back here again soon. Thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye.